Hello, my name is Tudor Kirpa, and today I want to quickly tell you about evaluating multiple wordy maps through node profile diagrams. To this end, I have here a wordy map snippet in my in a page inside my knowledge base that is hosted inside Glamour's Toolkit. And uh, the interesting thing about this wordy map is that the nodes here they are linked to other pages, and in this case, these are pages that contain other maps. And so these maps were produced by the Cyber Sec uh, Security Research Group during 2023. This was a research group led by Simon Wardley, and I was in the process here of um, consolidating their findings in, if you want here, a map of maps. And I already have imported here all their maps in my knowledge base. Uh, and now I want to quickly add it here another link, uh, specifically about, there's a map about threats. Um, and I wanted to add it in my, uh, my consolidated map over here. So now what we have is we have cybersecurity mapped from six different perspectives. And this then presents itself with an interesting opportunity. And that opportunity is that some of these nodes will be bound to overlap because it's the same subject, different perspective. So we'll be seeing the same idea uh, from different uh, perspectives. But now the interesting point here is to analyze whether or not when we look at this concept uh, from different perspectives, whether we see it in the same way along the evolution axis. So to do that, now we have to basically analyze these different maps and uh, consolidate them in a, uh, in a view, in a diagram. <clears throat> so to this end, I have here a small script. And this script essentially starts from the page. It um, collects all the links. So if I execute this one over here, I see that I have links to six different pages. And from those pages, I want to collect all the worldly map uh, snippets, and I'll be producing a group of uh, worldly map snippets. So I can see here I have a group in the different places. And then, of course, now here we can uh, look at this group from different uh, perspectives. So one of them is we can take a look at all the nodes that appear uh, in here. But if we, when we want to look at these profiles, uh, so-called node profiles, which is what we see on the right, we just want to see the nodes that appear at least twice. So here, for example, we see exactly this. And so it's interesting in this particular map there, there's quite a bit of overlap here, which is an interesting point because it means that regardless from where we look at the problem, we have a consolidated understanding. But in another situation, you might not have exactly the same. So for example, here, we see that there's a bit more distance between them. And uh, if we click on one of these nodes, what we get is um, a map, but with this particular node highlighted. And so now this is a way in which we can go and understand or look, collect the different um, evolutions um, of the, or the perceived evolutions of the nodes uh, in, and then have them consolidated, but then still allow uh, one to go and look deeper um, and see whether maybe there's something is missing or investigate uh, further for some other purposes. Now, what's interesting about this is, of course, it's, there's a utility in it and you have some, you start from some maps um, in this case, we have a map of maps. Um, and then from there, you consolidate, you analyze um, the, the information inside. But And then, of course, we could see this as being a tool. But in fact, there is no tool here. Uh, what we have is there are just a few pieces that are combined um, during analysis um, dynamically, essentially. So. What I have here is I have a page, and from this page I have a snippet, and in this snippet I can collect things from that page. And when I execute this, I get an inspector, and the inspector gives me a view. And this inspector is on a very specific uh, entity called Worldly Map Snippet Group, uh, and this one has dedicated views for node profile. And when I click on one of these, I get to a map, um, a map node in snippet, entity that actually is able to highlight. Now, each of these objects, uh, the group, the map node in snippet, they can exist independently of one another, and they can inspect them independently of one another. But when I have them um, concatenated like this, now all of a sudden I have 
um, an analysis tool. So this is what uh, it can be. This is where uh, Glamour's Toolkit is a multiple development environment. So on the one hand, it's basically an IDE. On the other hand, we've just used it now for exploring a more strategic perspective on, on a problem. Thank you very much.